Hi, Julie Lindsay here. I just want to talk about discussion forums and designing forums so that we have good strategies for engaging students in your subject. So, you know, we have our forums so we can develop critical and creative thinking. We encourage contribution and collaboration amongst students, problem solving. We want subjects to continue the conversation and we at times want assessment requirements aligned with these discussion forums as well. So the thing is, how will you design and manage this? Now, every subject coordinator, every academic, every teacher across the faculty has a slightly different approach. I'm going to show you my approach in this video, uh, but you need to think what is your approach and ignoring the discussion forum is actually not an approach. So, you know, we want to build a learning community. We want student to student interaction and we want teacher presence that also fosters teacher to student interaction. So my question is, of course, again, how are you going to design and manage this? So let's explore some ideas and strategies. I'm going to show you what I do and maybe that will help you as well. Thank you. Taking a look now at the subject ETL 523 and discussion board design. Just very quickly, uh, there is a forum here for introductions and this one students are allowed to create their own threads which they do to introduce themselves and of course other students can respond. There is a forum that is called the cafe is open this is something you may give it a different name but it's basically for social interaction and for ways for students to connect that may not involve the teacher. The teacher doesn't have to really pop in there very often. And then there are all the module forums and this subject has six different modules. So for module one, when you go in, you will see that there are actually four threads uh, depending on the you know, this content in 1.1, 2, 3 and 4. Now these threads, students cannot, uh, within this forum, students cannot create their own threads. It's been particularly designed so that if they want to talk about module one, they need to talk about it in the context of one of these particular module sections. So they can go in and, and, uh, and add something there. And just showing you discussion uh, module two now, same thing, but of course there isn't uh, a discussion forum for every part of module two, only 2.2 .2 and 2.4, so, so as not to overdo it. Now another pertinent thing here of course is the forums are linked to from the actual module content, and I just want to show you that here. If you go to the um, learning modules in this subject, they're listed here. I'm going to open up module two, which I have open already. Uh, this is module two. Um, module 2, 2.2, Information Literacy and Fluency. And if we scroll, scroll right down the end here, uh, we've got a box reading, uh, sorry, not reading, we want discussion forum, information literacy and digital fluency. So there are a couple of questions here. How do you see yourself developing knowledge, etc.? What is the relevance, etc.? Add your comments in the subject forum. So when I open that up, lo and behold, it takes us straight to where I showed you before and they can choose then, well we're actually in 2.2 so they should choose 2.2 to go in and add their comments. So just going back to, um, let's see, the, the main piece here, I want to show you how I actually set up um, forums because I want to do an assessment one. So I'm going to create forum and I'm going to call this assessment one discussion and um, use this forum to discuss assessment one and we can put whatever we want in there. I might come back and add some more text to that and as you scroll down you can see uh, you can actually make this available on a certain date. Uh, I'm making it available as of now that's that's okay or you can have it displayed you know as of a certain date until a certain date. Just a couple of things here um, Allow members to, describe, to subscribe. This is really useful. Please look at this when you're setting up your forums. Um, you might want them to subscribe to the whole forum or just or, or to threads, etc. And I also like to tick include body of post in the email. I find this is really useful to see uh, so that, you know, when they're using their mobile devices, they'll see what people have said and they can decide whether to respond. Um, and now, of course, this section here, allow members to create new threads. Now, this is where you can turn it off if you want them particularly to just respond to the threads that you've set up, 
or you can turn it on. In this case, I want it on because it's an assessment forum and I want them to be able to create their own discussion uh, threads related to the assessment. Okay, so there's some other things there. So you just click Submit and it goes in. And there you have it, Assessment 1 Discussion. Now I'm going to move that up actually. I'm going to move that up and you can move these around however you want. I'm going to put that towards the top because assessment is an important discussion. There you go.